Hey, um, you've got something in your teeth. So, awkward conversation, right? Um, and, and this is one of those awkward conversations. I, uh, recently I was contacted by someone through my business who turns out was looking for more of a personal kind of relationship. And uh, being a person in business, this is, the, apparently this happens, it's one of those things, and I was talking with a girlfriend about it this week, and, um, and the conversation moved to unconscious bias. And we, we were getting into it, we, you know, we, we might have had a bit of a moment around, uh, a bit of a girly chat about the fact that women probably have to deal with this a bit more than men when you're in business. Uh, but put that aside, we were we were getting into the unconscious bias bit, and it really how we got there was around um, this idea of those things that people take for granted as okay uh, because of the way that we were raised, because of the environment we're in. Um, you know, we also talked about the fact that sometimes these things happen with the best of intentions, and uh, and really that unconscious bias is one of those things that's really hard to get into because particularly when it's done in a way where people have the best intentions, they're looking for a good outcome for um, themselves, the people around them, um, it can be really awkward. And, uh, and Amanda shared with me this metaphor about spinach in the teeth, which I thought was just such a great way to get into it. It's, it's like I've always been this person. If you're with me and we're hanging out in a cafe or a business meeting or whatever, and I notice that you've got spinach in your teeth, I'm that person that points it out. Because I don't want you walking out the door, wandering around outside, nobody telling you what to do. And uh, and so, yeah, my girlfriend shared this analogy. So she said, you know, that unconscious bias, those things that we're not thinking about, those things that we think are okay, but are actually not. It's like having spinach in your teeth and you're wandering around completely unaware of the fact and uh, at some point if you're lucky someone points it out to you but a lot of people don't want to point that out to you because they're scared that um, that you know they don't they, they might get a bad reaction from you um, you might get angry about it um, there's the shame and the guilt that goes with it and that like that embarrassment and that awkwardness and so a lot of people will just let you walk by with that spinach in your teeth uh, and then for those people that do point it out, when that happens, we're horrified, right? It's it's that moment of, oh my gosh, how long have I been walking around with this in my teeth for? How like how do I <laughs> how do I how, like what do I do? Oh, this is all good. And it's not like you get to just go away and and curl up in a ball and and pick that spinach out of your teeth. Like you, sometimes you got to do it in public, and that's really awkward. Um, and so, and I love this analogy of spinach in the teeth because, you know, I think sometimes when we're talking about those unconscious biases around um, the way that we interact with people, um, whether it be in an office environment, in a personal environment, um, you know, I was at a competition a week ago and, uh, and the, the judges, as we were coming up to, to start our competition, the judges with the best intentions called out, this is Glenorchy A team. Oh, it's the women's team. Let's give them a clap. And, you know, best intentions, best intentions and encouraging women in the fire service. Like, great, great goal. Um, but, hey, you got spinach in your teeth. <laughs> so I want to share it this week because it's, it's one of these conversations that I find really awkward. I find it hard to show up. I find it hard to have a conversation with someone about the fact that, their behavior or um, the words that they're using, what they're saying, how they're showing up in an environment is potentially harmful to another person, whether that be me or somebody in my team or, or somebody who's not in the room altogether. I find that hard. And I think, you know, a, a lot of us find it hard. I think it's one of those things that we will shy away from. And yet the irony is that we are all looking for a change in perspective, innovation, new ideas. And, and, Oftentimes, you know, we, we're looking for those things in the context of, well, don't move me outside my box. And so what I thought I'd share this week was really to say, hey, I've got spinach in my teeth too. <laughs> but equally, if you're looking for a new perspective, if you're looking for ways to generate new ideas, if you're looking to get outside of your box, sometimes that's uncomfortable. And so if you haven't already, I would encourage you to go and seek out unconscious bias training. 
start to get into these conversations around something that's really going to shift your box. This, I, I can fully, fully aware that you know you go into one of these trainings and and your world is going to shift and it's going to be uncomfortable. You know, as I said, it's often with the best intentions that we uh, act or say things um, or do th- things in the way that we do. Uh, and this is really about getting okay with the fact that A, we might not have all the answers. B, we might be doing stuff that with the best intentions or completely unconsciously has an impact on another person that is harmful or detrimental and that actually it's our responsibility to fix that. And it's also about building your support network of those people around you who you know will call it out and say, hey, you've got spinach in your teeth today. Might need to go and have a look at that. So uh, yeah, wherever you are in the world today, I hope you're having an awesome, awesome day. Get out there and go and get into the unconscious bias stuff. It'll shift your perspective. It'll help you come up with a new frame and a new way of looking at the world that's going to lead to more innovation. It's going to lead to better ideas. And it's actually just going to help you be a decent human being. And that's what we all want, right? We all want to work in a place where we have amazing leaders around us, amazing teams around us, and we can come to work and be human beings and actually have the permission to work through the messy conversations. Actually build that capability to work through the uncomfortable stuff. And so I would encourage you to go out and have a look at what might be on offer. If you have any trouble, by all means, get in touch with me. I'd be happy to share some of the resources that I have. Uh, But yeah, just a quick call out today. You got something in your teeth. Thanks, everyone.